I'm Ollie from GCN and from the Kendall Sunday Social. Welcome to KCC TV. Hello and welcome to episode 13 of KCC TV. Well, Ben, I feel like I'm on the wrong show after that opening. <laughs> what an introduction that was. Absolutely, yes. Thank you, Ollie. Uh, and we've got more coming up from Ollie in the episode. So, what's in store today? Right, we are looking today a lot about what KCC members have been doing over the past few weeks. Yeah, we've got some really exciting stuff coming up. We've also got a really interesting piece about cargo bikes and local cycling, haven't we? We have, yes. And we're starting off with Ollie Bridgewood and his ride up the struggle. Ollie, thanks for joining us on KCC TV. Now you've been riding the Struggle Hill Climb today. Yeah. How was it? Oh, amazing. I, 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 I really loved it. It was like a phenomenal event. And um, it was like really good. We've come and filmed it for GCN as well. But it's amazing to see like all the clubs from the Lake District you know, coming together as well and, and supporting it. And, and the, the sense of, sort of cycling community up here is, is amazing. But also I just wanted to show you know, hill climbing and, and events like that to, to a wider audience. Because a lot of people who watch GCN have probably never done an event. And, you know, we want to get more participation, more people doing these things. And when you see an event as good as that, with the atmosphere that you guys have, I mean, it's like, you know, to, to, a lot of us never get to ride the, you know, the tour or whatever, but that's like a summit finish on the tour. Plus, you know, having all the crowds and stuff like cheering you, know, it's like, I'm, you know, I still feel like I'm buzzing from it now. It was amazing. What what was so two questions? What was the worst bit for you of riding it? What was the the moment that was worst? The worst bit are oh, the last bit. <laughs> like, it was the best bit and the worst bit because like the crowds are amazing. That's like you know get, help you really empty yourself and get everything out. But yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean, you see on the pain face photos. It was I, it was I was in a dark place, but it's good. It's good. What was your time? I did uh, fourteen forty nine. So I was pleased. I was pleased to go under 15 minutes. I feel that was that was good for me. So you know, yeah. it's not about you know, it's not about. I was never, I was never going to trouble the scorers for the win. But that's not why I did it. You know, I do it because I like to you know do the best that I can do, and, and it's just you know great to great to be part of it, isn't it? With all the atmosphere and it doesn't matter. That's the beauty of it. It doesn't matter how you're not know, really the best. You just have to you know get involved. It's good luck. And obviously you talked about the atmosphere and the crowds. Yeah. Like how does how does today compare to other things you've done? You know, in terms of the, the crowds and the, and the people that are there. As good as anything. I mean, like, yeah, like right up there with like with some you know the best the best things of you know sort of events I've ever done on a bike. Like, yeah, crowd crowd sports amazing. Because northerners, isn't it? Northerners, it's good that. Where are you from? I'm I'm from uh, from South Yorkshire, from Oh yeah. So the other side of the panel really Yeah, 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 the right side. Yeah, yeah. Still so quite good on this side. I know that, I know that you like the lakes. I love it, you yeah. spend quite a lot of time on the lakes. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, the struggle today. What are some of your, your other favourite rides in the lakes, your favourite hills? Uh, do you know what? I, I like a lot of the sort of quieter roads. Um, I really like sort of going up Hawkshead Hill through around Tarn House. I really like that. And um, I really like... Um, like Dudden Valley as well, going up through there, um, and then up, you know, sort of rhinos and stuff. And then um, I really like going up, up um, like Lee Tarn as well, like around there, some of those roads. But it's just so many, there's so many, and like there's always little, there's loads of little, like, every time I come here, I discover new little lanes and new little hills that I've not sort of done before. And, uh, yeah, you look, you're lucky to live you're, it's, it's, it's a great place to ride. You say it's uh, better than South Yorkshire? Yeah. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> Excellent. And when when are we going to get like the whole GCN crew here for a ride out with KCC on some roads you've never been on? Yeah. Well, a lot of them are scared of hills, so uh, yeah. I'll, I, what I want what I want to do is I want to try and get more of them over to the uh, to the hill climb. I think that would be good. Yeah. If we can get some of them more over to the hill climbing. That that'd be that'd be fun. Watching them struggle on the hill. See how many more of them I can beat. <laughs> I'll be Alex today. Well, Ben, it looks to me as though Ollie might be a bit scared of going on a club ride. That, that, that's what I'm hearing, to be honest, Karen. I think so. Now, here's the thing. There is a way around this because Ollie has very kindly donated uh, a day of his time 
for someone who wins it as a prize in the KCC raffle. So, if you win, what are you going to do, Ben? If I, I'm going to buy a lot of tickets here. If I win, Ollie, I'm bringing you on a KCC club ride and putting you on the front. And it's worth saying that we were talking to Ned Bolting a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And he's up for a club ride, and isn't he? Ned's up for a club ride, so Ollie, come on. But he did sort of hint he might go in a slower group. Yeah, he did, yeah. We might want Ollie in. <laughs> yeah. So, before we go any further, we're going to uh, give you a few more details about that prize with Ollie. Here we go. All right, I'm Ollie from GCN, and if, if you were me in the raffle, then what you get is uh, me uh, on a ride of, of any length, any length, I will, I'll do it. You just name the place, name the ride, I'll come along and I'll be your domestic for a day. So I'll carry your food, I'll carry your bottles, I'll sit on the front, even if it's a headwind, all day, and um, you, can, you can destroy me, and uh, I'm all yours. Wow, what a prize. That is a good prize. <laughs> yeah, you're getting your Ollie to do whatever you want. So. And the link to buy those raffle tickets is in the YouTube description below. And you can also just go to the KCC website, kendall.cc, and um, buy there as well. So one of the things that Ollie was talking about in that first interview was the day of the struggle, which was also the day of the Three Peaks Challenge. Yes, so we had club members doing both, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. and we had the KCC social. Absolutely, should we see how everyone got on? Yes. Well, that was great to see, wasn't it? It was, absolutely. And the weather was great as well. Yeah. What so, a day. What a day. So coming up, we're continuing our celebrity theme. And Karen, you met up with the bicycle mayor of Cumbria. I did, yes. A local celebrity. Yeah, a local celebrity. <laughs> a local celebrity, Richard Ingham. Um, and he came to Kendall um, to ride a cargo bike. And I headed out with Tim. And this is our report. and welcome to a KCC TV outside broadcast and you'll see we're here today in the wonderful weather um, with a cargo bike and some of you may have seen this going around Kendall um, recently and I've got Paul here today from the Woolly Saddle Project so Paul tell me about it. Right well in the initiative for this was between South Lakes Action for Climate Change and the Town Council and it was made possible by the loan of a bike from Raleigh Cycle Firm. The whole point of the bike was that a lot of journeys are made around Kendall, usually short journeys, and there's a lot of pollution. It was just to give the general local businesses a, an idea of what was possible. And um, what sort of things have been carried in it? What have you been taking around Kendall? Well, uh, where things that needed a local drop, obviously. Um, we've been to pubs, uh, bakeries, uh, we've done individual things like um, uh, people wanting to take stuff to the charity shop or the recycling centre. Um, the main one actually was the uh, waste into well-being, if you know what the waste into well-being is, where the, the supermarkets, if they have surplus stock, they uh, donate them to waste into well-being and they're distributed. And I'm here now with Richard Ingham, who is Bicycle Mayor of Cumbria, and you have come down to Kendall with the weather for a special reason. 
Well, yes, I volunteered my services with the Woolly Saddles e-cargo bike tribe because I thought it was such a fantastic idea to bring it right here to Kendal in Cumbria to show that we can make e-cargo bike delivery work uh, even in places, smaller places like Kendal. It's not just for the big cities like London. Mm. Uh, and. Uh, it's just a brilliant idea mm. uh, and has so many benefits. So what we're going to do now is you're going to leap on and we're going to go out to Sainsbury's, which is where the Waste into Wellbeing pick up the um, food from, the surplus food. So I wanted to start off showing Richard some of our really great infrastructure. So the old canal um, path, which is lit um, and is traffic free, and Richard was able to get the really large cargo bike easily through those um, barriers, which is excellent. And then we're off onto quiet residential street, which completely bypasses the need to go on New Road or Anyam Road um, and takes us out towards um, the north side of town. Um, by we're heading out towards the Long Pool roundabout by the station to head up Shap Road. Um, we come out onto this little um, side street, which is um, quiet. We do have to mix with a little bit of traffic, as you can see there, but um, not too much. Um, and then this is where it starts to get a bit interesting. We want to take a left-hand turn here um, and head towards this, this junction with the station. Um, you can see at this point what you have to do is take a right hand turn onto what's essentially a pedestrian um, walkway. Thankfully there was only one gentleman there at the time rather than a whole bunch of people but we started to mix with pedestrians and then keep an eye on what's happening to the left hand side. There's a lady in a wheelchair and she's struggling to get up um, the curb there. It's supposed to be a drop curb but it's not quite right and you can see it takes two people to lift her up um, and out of the moving traffic. That was quite a scary situation and shows why um, infrastructure is really important and getting it right so that everybody can use it. Um, and then we headed off up Shap Road. Um, I haven't included absolutely everything that happened to us. These are just a few of the, the main points. Um, we've got a um, couple of um, people walking hey, here. Hi. We're trying to get past. Richard gets past, but notice everything that's going on here. Notice the red van coming out. Notice the lady who's had to move into the road to let us past. And then the gentleman with the umbrella um, who um, obviously is oblivious that we're behind him, even though we did ring a bell and shout out. Um, so once I managed to get past him, I have to stop again because there's just been a van coming out there. So it's a bit stop start. Um, and then we head off up again towards the traffic lights. You can see the traffic lights have turned green here for the traffic to go straight ahead, but we have to stop. Um, and while we're waiting for the traffic light to change, let me just tell you that we're going to do a longer version of this, um, which is the entire route, so that um, if you want to see that separately, and we'll talk a bit more about the cargo bike as well. So check that out on our YouTube channel. What you can't see here is that the gentleman with the umbrella has actually skipped across the road, run across the road. There you go. There he is. He's skipped the, the lights and gone off um, up there. So it's actually quicker <laughs> to be walking up Shap Road than it is to be cycling. Um, Richard manages to get up that curb um, and go around. Tim, who's doing the filming here, you can see he goes through the narrow bit. Um, and then we're off up towards the school. And we got here just as the children were coming out. Um, you can see Sainsbury's from here, so Richard quite rightly wants to go up ahead, but our journey, unfortunately, at this point has to cross the road and head up on the wrong side of the road until um, we finally reach Sainsbury's, having crossed back over again. So Richard, we've made it to Sainsbury's. We've had a very good ride, an interesting ride up the Shap Road Cycleway. Mm, and in your opinion, as Bicycle Mayor of Cumbria, what do you think? I think it's got great potential uh, as a cycleway that can protect you from all that busy traffic. Mm, it's a busy road, isn't it? Yes, it's got a potential. It's just got one or two things that stop it reaching that full mm. potential. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not a flowing route, is it? Stop, start, stop, it start. It doesn't flow, and yeah. that is what is so important for yeah. cycling, because it's, usually it's your own energy. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And, you, and you miss the, ch the turning to move onto the other side of the road. It's, it's things like that if you don't Crossing know Crossing over, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then recrossing again is not is something to try and avoid mm -hmm. you want yeah. continuity it's the junctions and side streets that are mm. very often the weak points and yeah. they're the things that need careful design mm. yes and and thankfully now the um, the rules have changed haven't they so the guidance now is different to when this one was implemented so hopefully any future developments we get here in Kendall which hopefully we'll get coming will 
hopefully address some of those issues. Yes, I, mm. that's right. I mean, the design standards nationally have just been upgraded to be mm -hmm. much more in line with continental design. Mm -hmm. And it's a real step change. Mm -hmm. They are now designing cycleways <laughs> that are meant to be cycled. Cycled in, yes. And, and part of the problem, I and mean, when we found it today, wasn't it? There's a lot of pedestrians who use that route as well, you know, or people who walk. Um, and yes. the people on bikes. Uh, yes. And people on yeah. foot and are not, not supposed to be in the same place, really, are they? Personally, I, I would have preferred a segregated route. Mm -hmm. and I know, you know there are with this issues mm. fitting everything in. But it's busy enough to warrant a, a properly segregated route yeah, from yeah. pedestrians and cyclists mm -hmm. separate. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but things are moving in the right direction. And hopefully, um, you know, with the council bidding for money, yes. with our new LC whip, we'll... Um, I'm very optimistic. Look, look I think there's been an absolute step change, uh, not just in, across the country, but here in Cumbria. Mm, really yeah. going forward, really got the priorities yeah. now for active yeah. travel. And, uh, and I was struggling sometimes to keep up with you on this thing, so yes, with the batteries <laughs> as well, it really is the way forward, I think. <laughs> as long as those batteries keep going, we're yeah. okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Richard, for spending some time with us. And uh, we'll let you load up and get your woolly back, woolly saddle delivery um, back into town. Back, right, okay. Thanks. Good. There were some interesting moments in that, Karen. Yes. And we didn't stage any of it. That was us just heading out on a day. And um, I mean, the, the bit with the lady in the wheelchair was really quite heart stopping, really. Um, we weren't quite sure what was going on. And, you know, I think the video speaks for itself, really. Um, and as Richard said, we've got some great infrastructure and um, we've now got the new bridge and um, some bits that could do with a little bit of improvement. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. So uh, last month we talked about our competition which was a cafe of the month from Shah Dixon. Now this month we are continuing that competition because we've only had a few ent entries and it's kind of getting into winter so we want to give people a little bit more time for that but we're going to add on because of our celebrity themes uh, another prize for the competition. And it's a celebrity competition. What we want you to do this month is send us in a photo of you and a celebrity and there's two different ways you can do this yeah so it might be you with a cycling celebrity a, a cyclist or someone from the cycling world or it could be you on your bike with any celebrity exactly as long as there's cycling in there somewhere yes we want your photos tv at kendall.cc we'll be showing them in the next episode and we will be giving a 50 pound wheelbase voucher to uh, one of the winners that we pull out of the hat. And if you go back and look at last month's episode, you can find out all about the uh, cafe of the month as well. So you've got two chances to um, be drawn out of the helmet next month. Absolutely. And, and thanks as ever to Wheelbase for sponsoring the competition. So first up on KCC News, we have an update from club member Lynn Hamill. Now, if you watched episode five, you might remember that Lynn talked about herself and her bike and has recently taken up hand cycling. Yes, and Lynn's actually, we think, sort of become a first yes. in the hand cycling world um, because she has just completed a, a hill climb time trial up Snake Pass. That's Very right. impressive. Very impressive. Okay. Organised by Glossop Kinder Velo. Uh, and Lynn did an amazing time hand cycling up there. Yes. I mean, awesome, Absolutely. Lynn. Well done. Incredible. Yes. And it's really important because they did some work behind the scenes with the organiser to sort of ensure that this could happen and, you know, met the regulations and stuff to hopefully then pave the way for other hand cyclists who want to take part in events like this. Yeah. So well done, Lynn. Yeah, brilliant. So uh, the next piece of news is at the start of this episode, we talked about the upcoming club raffle. And Ollie introduced, Ollie Bridgewood introduced one of the prizes, which is a day with him. The second prize in this raffle is an amazing Ribble bike. And we have Cameron Jeffers, who rides for the Ribble World Tight team, going to tell us a little bit more about it. Hello, my name is Cameron. I'm a professional cyclist for Team Ribble Well Tight, and today you're in with the chance of winning this uh, fantastic Ribble 872 bike in the raffle. It's got 11 speed gears, 105 
and it is an awesome bit of kit. So get your tickets, enter the raffle, and you could win with a chance to win one of, the, one of these. Wow, Ben, that is a prize and a half, isn't it? That's a prize, it really is. It really is a prize. So, how can we get tickets? So, you can go on the KCC website, kendall.cc, and you can buy your tickets there. There's a link in the YouTube description. And just to remind you that all the money from this raffle goes to local charity Wheels for All. Such an important charity and some amazing prizes. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. It's yeah. a win-win. And the raffle has been drawn at the AGM. It is, which is on Friday the 11th of November. Absolutely. So do get along there and find out if you've won. And get your tickets in, get them bought as soon as you can. Absolutely. Um, just a couple of other news items. So um, if you want to learn how to ride in a group or ride in a race situation, Ian Childs and the coaching team are going to be running some sessions um, at Saltaire. If you check out Spond for more details and book up for the sessions. So our final piece for that to today is a report all about a recent event put on by our friends at Wheelbase. And in a pub as well. <laughs> and in a pub. <laughs> cycling on turbo trainers in a in pub. In a pub. <laughs> Does life get any better? <laughs> Absolutely. This looked like a really fun evening. Yes. And we sent Tim Price down there to find out what was going on. The first time we've kind of run this format, the knockout format. So this brings us to the end of the episode. Another one done and dusted. Yeah. So a big thank you to Ollie Bridgewood for joining us for the interview and for the upcoming raffle prize. And to Richard Ingham and the crew from Woolly Saddle Cargo Bikes. 
to Ribble and to Cameron Jeffers for the Ribble Bike Prize. To Wheelbase for the sponsorship of our competition and to MapDeck for the technology in the room. And finally to Tim Price and Shar Dixon for their help with the production of this episode.